Okay, so we're told it was a diatomic gas and it had, well, 5 degrees of freedom. The change in temperature is equal to 40 degrees C. There are 3 moles of the gas involved and this is a constant pressure process. So if we have a PV diagram, it looks something like this. And part A, we were asked how much energy is transferred to the gas as heat. Okay, in this case, there's no easy way to use the first law of thermodynamics because we're not told anything about the internal energies or what the initial temperatures were or the initial volumes. So we'll need to use Q is equal to N Cp delta T. Cp is the specific the molar heat at constant pressure. So we're told that there's three moles. Now Cp is equal to R plus F over 2R and in this case F is 5 so this is 7 over 2R which is 29.099 so substituting that in 29.099 and the change in temperature is 40. So now we can just enter all this into the calculator when we do that we get 3492 joules so this is only to two significant figures. So let's give our answer to two significant figures. It's 3.5 kilojoules. Okay, now we're asked to calculate in part B the change in internal energy of the gas. So we'll need to use the formula for the change in internal energy. It's F over 2 NR delta T. We know what all these things are in this case. So we've got 5 over 2 times 3.00 times 8.314 times 40. Solving this on the calculator, we end up with 2,494 joules, which is equal to 2.5 kilojoules. Part C asks us how much work is done on the gas. So now we can finally use our th first law of thermodynamics. Work is equal to the change in internal energy minus the heat added. So this is 2494 minus 3492. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with minus, 9, uh, minus 998 joules, which is equal to minus 1.0 kilojoules to two significant figures. And this is work done on the gas, which means that plus 1 kilojoules of work is done by the gas. And then part D said, what was the change in the rotational kinetic energy of the gas? Well, the gas has five ways of storing energy because the number of degrees of freedom is five. So three of those ways are translational and two are rotational. So the change in kinetic energy is going, the change in rotational kinetic energy is going to be two fifths of the change in the internal energy. So it'll be 2 fifths times 2.5 um, kilojoules, which is 1.0 kilojoules. So the other way to do it would be to substitute in here just a 2, just to, cal just to calculate for the rotational degrees of freedom.